Okay. Welcome back to Code Dice. In this video, we'll discuss like operators and not like operator. Like and not like operators are coming under special operators in MySQL. Uh, these operators are basically used to perform the search operations, basically pattern search operations. So what do you mean by pattern search operations? So uh, it is just like uh, uh, if I'll give you a task, you have to find out all the employee name with a, those employee name is having five character long or you want to find out a five digit salary, right? Uh, or you want to find out all the employee names started with the S or you want to find out all the uh, employee salary, which is started with a seven. If you have a, this type of a requirement, you should go for like and not like operators. Although we have a concept called as regular expression that I will discuss in upcoming lectures, upcoming lectures, right? Fine. So we'll discuss multiple example, maybe 10 to 10 or more than that example we'll discuss. So that you people will get the more clarity about this like and not like operators. Okay. So try to watch till end to get the 100% clarity. Fine, sir. So here just observe very carefully like and not like operator. So the like operator is basically used to perform the search for a specified pattern within a column value. Within We will perform search operation within a column, within a column. So basically this like operator we will use along with the wire clauses. We'll use along with the wire clauses. So what do you mean by pattern searching for characters is known as pattern searching for characters okay so if you want to search for character the process is nothing but called as pattern we will write some pattern and i will discuss exactly what exactly the pattern and what are the examples of pattern once i will discuss uh, practically then only we will get the clarity okay fine sir so here like operator basically used two different symbols in like operator we will use two different symbols uh, for the search to search the patterns. What what are the two symbols? One is underscore, another one is your percentile symbols. We will use how many symbols? One is underscore, another one is your percentile symbols. Okay, underscore represent one characters. It can be anything. It can be anything. What do you mean by underscore here? Underscore means only one character, sir. It can be anything. It can be alphabet, digit, symbol, anything. But what do you mean by percentile? Percentile represent a zero character, one character, any number of characters. Percentile represent any number of character. Underscore represent only one character. Okay, now fine, right? You you may think, sir, what exactly the real uses of this thing means, sir? Once I will discuss practically, then only you will get the clarity. Fine. Right, sir. So these two symbols are called as wildcard characters or wildcard operators, basically. Okay. Maybe the interview will ask you, what do you mean by wildcard characters? So these two symbols are coming under wildcard characters. Is it clear? Now I will move towards a practical. Okay. So that you will get the clarity. Okay. These are the questions, sir. Uh, these questions we will solve one by one so that you will get the clarity. Okay. So let me discuss one by one here. Uh, then we will move towards practical. Okay. Right. Fine, sir. Mm, yes, maybe this is good. Fine. So first of all, question, uh, write your SQL query to display all the employee details, those who are getting four digit salary. Okay. Suppose just think a minute about it. I have an employee called as X. I have an employee called as Y. I have an employee called as Z. Okay fine so x is getting what x is getting suppose 50000 x is getting 50000 um then something like y is getting 45000 uh, and z is getting 7900 and the next one is the uh, i i is getting uh, 4370 these are the some uh, normal uh, like example purpose I, I have written only for the example purposes right these are the name and these are the salaries so what you have to display, you have to display all the employee details, those who are getting four digit salary. So four digit salary means so what is our expected output? Our expected output is a, we want these two, right? Z and I, okay? We don't want these, right? We want only these two. So how to write the query to get these things, right? So is it clear or not? What exactly our purpose? What exactly our requirement? Is it clear or not? What is our expectations? Is it clear? Fine. So what I will do, I will write the query that is a selector, select a star from EMP info. EMP info is our table name, you know already. Okay, select a star from EMP info. 
where we will use where clause where where a salary salary means a sal where salary is like okay we have to write a salary like within quote you have to write four digit so exactly four digit means we have to write a four underscore that's it ready is it clear sir what do you mean by four underscore underscore means what represent how many character one character four underscore means represent how many character four characters is it clear any doubt any doubt huh? any doubt maybe 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 you have some doubt but once i will discuss each and everything then only your doubt will be clear right next display all the employee details so those you are not getting four digit salary are not getting means so not like a okay not getting means so you have to write a not like that's a clear cut information apart from that nothing will in me fine next display all the employee details those who are uh, those who those um, display all the employee details so whose salary is started with the five whose salary is started with the five but after that no problem after that it making it can be a three character four character five character no problem Suppose just think about it. I have a uh, employee like X, so I said I is a K. These are the employee. X salary is a 7,500. Y salary is a 5,500. Z salary is a 75, uh, uh, 75,000, uh, something like K, um, um, some I salary is a 54,000. Okay, 54,000. J salary is a 33,000. And K salary is a 28,500, right? So your expectation is what you have to display all the employee details. So those you uh, are those who are getting the salary, those sal salary should be started with the five. Salary should be started with the five. So tell me what is your expected output is actually expected output. Uh, this salary is not started with five. This is started with five. Means our expectation is this one and this one. These two are our uh, expectation. These two we want as a output basically, right? So, what query you have to write for this? Mm, same story you have to write a select a star from EMP info. This is a common thing, right? We have to write where sell like up to this, up to this much is very common, right? Everywhere is common. So here we have to write the pattern. What pattern started with the Piper? So started with the Piper. After that, after that, how many character you want? Any number of character here. Okay, any number. It can be four, five, seven, any number of characters. So that means we have to use your percentile symbol. What is what is the meaning of this pattern? Started with the Piper. Started with, tell me, five. After that, any number of character allowed. Okay, if a person is getting the salary 5 rupees also, it will be displayed in your output screen. Because after that, any number, it can be a zero numbers as well, right? Those who are getting, it's very okay. Those who are not getting, try to uh, wait for practical. Okay, fine, right? Right, sir. So after that, display all the employee names, those who uh, names started with yes. Oh, started with yes. That means... Same thing, a select a star from EMP info where name like started with yes means yes. Then after that, we want a zero or any number of character. That's it. Name ended with a. Yes. A ended with a means a stat. Stat can be anything. Ended with a. That's it. Any doubt? No. Uh, next up, started with a P and ended with a. Started with a P and ended with a. a. In between, we want what? Any number of characters. You can write no problem. Right? Yeah. So, if I will give a task like it started with a P, ended with a A, but I want five, uh, five, five character name. Five character name means started with P, ended with A. In between that, you have to write a three underscore. Right? Fine, sir. Again, I will discuss practically. Na? So, wait for that. So, next one is a Mm, uh, yeah. Display all the employee details uh, whose name contain a letter U in between the first and last characters. Okay, in between the first and last character. Is there anything called as U? Suppose I will write Surendra, Rahul. So here I will write Priyanka, 
next journey. So tell me what is our expected output? We want u in between the first and last character. In between the first and last character. So in between means here, right? In excluding first and last character. In between, in the middle, in the middle, we want u. So no u, no u, Priyanka, PRA, YA, NK, no u. So u is here available, here also available. So you want these two as a expected output, Rahul and Surendra. Why? Because u is present in between this. So that means what pattern you have to write? So at the beginning, anything and anything in between this, we want u. Right. In beginning, any number of characters allowed uh, and any number of characters, but we want you in between uh, the first and last time. Right. Fine. So display all the employee names have eight characters and the second character should be you. OK. So what is the pattern? Eight character means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I write like this, it will display only eight character name. But the second character, I want you. So that means here I will write you. Is it clear or not? I hope it is very, very clear. So next. Um, next one is very important. Very, very important. Not uh, very extremely important. Okay. This is. Display all the employee details. Those who join in the year 2020. 2020. So, you know, suppose name is X, Y, Z. So, you know, MySQL, our date format is what? First year is coming, right? 2020, 2019, 2021. Then uh, day, month is coming, then date is coming, right? Yes or no? Right? So, that means uh, we have to display all the employee name, those who join in 2020. So, that means uh, the starting is a 2020, then anything. Then anything. Okay? Sir, why, why I first mention here, why not uh, at the end? Because, because MySQL follows uh, first, first, which, which, which uh, format? Uh, D, uh, sorry, YY, YY, first, then month, then date. Okay, now, fine. So next, display all the employee details whose name started with S and exactly four character name, long. So that means started with S, exactly four means remaining three. That's it. Ready? Yeah. So each and everything I will show you uh, uh, in workbench, okay, as a practical so that you will get the 100% clarity. Fine. Let me copy all these things. Oh. Right. So I open my workbench uh, as usual, right? So topic name is like and not like operator. Let me use my database called as organization. You already aware about this. And let me select my uh, table to get all the data. So these are the data I have like a six different uh, uh, like uh, uh, record. Okay. With the how many column? One, two, three, four, five column. Right. Now we will discuss each and everything one by one. So what I'll do here, let me comment down everything. So display one by one. Okay, fine. Let me comment down everything. So fine. So let me add one enter enter button so that easily we can write. Uh, yeah, learning required time. Okay, so don't skip anything. Okay, learn properly. Write a SQL query to display all the employee details. Those you are getting four digit salary. So here, if you look our data, no one is getting four digit salary, right? So our expectation is nothing. It will not display anything. Just observe. Select star from EMP info where sal like, what we'll write here, sal like, I can say four digit, one, two, three, four. That is, here it is a four underscore, right? So what is the problem here? Oh, FROM. So let me execute. Uh, I'm not getting anything because there is no uh, employee. Um, the, there is uh, no employee uh, having like a zero four digit salary. Everyone is getting four five digit. So if I write five digit, then I will get all the details. Uh, Every one detail I will get right. So anyway, so the query is important. Data is not that much important, right? Fine, sir. So display all the employee details who those who are not getting four digit salary means only we have to write not like that's it. So instead of like I have to write not like if I'll write not like. Uh, so what is your expected output? It will display uh, all the details, right? 
Every every employee tool display. It's it's very simple, right? Fine. Next up, display all the employee details whose sat uh, whose salary started with the FIPO. Okay, it means the first character. First character is a FIPO. Then then um then after that we don't want uh, anything. It it can be anything after that, right? So select a star from EMP info where salary um. Or ne okay salary started with five where salary started with the five started with five means I have to write five then after that it can be anything so what is your expected output I think there is no person no 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 we will get nothing because no one is getting uh the started with five right so you can write six also if I'll write six let me check yeah Scott is getting sixty five thousand so that's why we are getting this one. We can uh, uh, check with four also. I, I I think four is there, right? Started with four. Who is getting? Yeah, Jack is getting forty five thousand, right? Fine. Anyway, so we have to write five, but we are not getting anything. That's clear cut information. Fine. Uh, display all the employee details whose name started with S. A name started with S. Uh, ended with anything, right? End with anything. After that, any number of characters allowed, but started with S. So select the star from EMP info where name, uh, where name is like, uh, so started with S. Then after that, anything. So that's it. Let me execute and it's working perfectly, right? Yeah. So next one, uh, display all the employee details whose name ended with A. Oh, starting maybe anything, any number of characters end with A, that means uh, A. That's it. Yeah, ended with A. So here, ended with A means uh, Surendra ended with A, Priyanka ended with A. Okay. Here, starting with A means uh, Surendra and uh, Scott. Okay, now. So next is uh, uh, display all the employee details. Those who uh, name uh, started with uh, NKA, not started. This is end with NKA. End with uh, NKA. I think I is I have not I I didn't discuss this one. Yes, maybe I skipped this one. Anyway, uh, so ended with NKA means the same story. Here we have right NKA started anything any number of characters. NKA Priyanka, right? Fine. So display all the employee details. So name started with P and ended with A. Started with P and ended with a A. So started with a P. Ended with a in between this, we don't we want anything. So any number of characters. So Priyanka will come, right? Fine. Right, sir. All the employee details whose name uh, contain a letter called as U in between the first and last characters. So first, I don't want anything. So any number anything can anything. Uh, it can be anything, but middle we want you. So you, you is there, Surendra and Raul. I already discussed this thing, right? Just for formality sake, I'm doing practical. All the employee names with having eight character and the second character is you. So eight character one two three four five six seven eight, but the second character is a you. So can you expect, uh, can you guess what is the output, Surendra? Huh, we are not getting anything. Why we are not getting anything? Maybe you have done some mistake. Let me try. First character and second character you. Then uh, uh, two complete, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Surendra is coming. Maybe we have done some mistake previously. Uh, display all the employee details that you joined in the year 2020. So where J date? J date, right? J date. So 2020 started with 2020. Then anything. Oh yeah. What is the problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 2020, Priyanka joined in 2020. So, fine. Next, display all the employee details whose name started with S and exactly four characters long. 
so it's very simple name started with s so exactly four character long means uh, started with the s exactly four character long means one two three and s is one so totally four character uh, i think no one is having this name no but uh, if i'll write uh, one more character five character then scott will come i hope yeah scott anyway i hope you guys are getting the clarity about this particular one if you have still any doubt you can post in our comment sessions okay so similarly we can uh, work uh, for symbols also just like uh, check uh, uh, in name some other symbol is there or not so what you will say what you will do you will check other it okay so are, is there any other symbol inside my name so what you will do what pattern you will write you will write the starting can be anything and can be anything in between this is there any other symbols that's it right okay suppose i want to check uh, is there any um, question mark is there or not yes you can write question mark suppose if i want to check a percentile symbol then what will happen huh percentile symbol do you think i will write uh, uh, like this percentile 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 like this no 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 so you have to use a slash here you have to use a slash here okay anyway that's fine right you can try and if you have any doubt you can post in a comment section thank you so much for watching this particular video we will meet in the next video for continuation part thank you so much